Good morning. All right. So I'm going to do um, this live video thing a little bit differently than I did yesterday. Um, I was really um, nervous. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I just, I'm throwing that out the window, y'all. Hey, what's up? My name is Ryan. Um, I'm a yoga teacher. I've been practicing yoga for since 2001. You do the math. Um, and I am 33 weeks pregnant. I am trying something new uh, in how I share what I do with the world. And I figure this group would be a safe space for me to do that. Um, so any feedback um, is appreciated, but of course, if any questions come up for you, um, regarding yoga and what we're going to be talking about today, um, please, please, please put it in the comments. I'll do my best to, to, um, answer them. So, um, yesterday I tried to do like a, a walk through breakdown of a pose um, and just really not being authentic to um, to how I teach my yoga classes and honestly um, after reviewing everything no wonder it didn't work <laughs> no wonder the live didn't go live no wonder just all the things were happening so um, I just want to Praise the Most High, glory be to God for that opportunity to learn, and um, I'm just really going to bring my teaching practice to this live today. Uh, so today we're going to be exploring Goddess Pose, and generally how I start my classes is we, we drop in and we find a mantra or an affirmation to focus on so that's what these car cards are um so don't worry for y'all who you know wondering what this is this is my you got this deck and it's just words of inspiration i picked it up when i was living in seattle um in 2020 so i don't know if you can find it somewhere if you're curious about um, this deck, maybe there's a, a website on here, but, um, you can ask about it if you're, if you're curious and I'll put it in the comments. So I'm just going to pull one of these cards, um, and then we'll go ahead and get started. I hope y'all having a beautiful, bountiful and blessed day. I hope your morning is being good to you and if there are challenges that are in your in your realm of of existence I hope that you find the strength today to get through them all right let's see so the <laughs> The mantra for this short practice as we explore goddess pose is going to be difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. All right. So I encourage you to take this mantra, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. All right. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Take those words in as they apply to your life. Have a seat. Get comfortable in that seat. If you need a block or a pillow underneath 
you go ahead and take that opportunity and just get grounded into the earth beneath you. We're going to tap into our inner goddess, our inner um, feminine power, whatever resonates for you here. And you're going to breathe in and hold and breathe out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Hold and breathe out through the mouth. And as you breathe in and breathe out, you're going to release some of that tension that might be built up in your body. Um, thinking about what you got going on for the day or wh wh whatever comes up for you by taking your shoulders to your ears and rolling them back and down and shaking the arms out by your sides. Ro rocking those legs, getting some somatic movement in, breathe in through the nose and hold, breathe out through the mouth. And just allow yourself to be present with where you are. All right. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Like I said, my name is Ryan. I am your yogi friend <laughs> that is 33 weeks pregnant <laughs> and still teaching classes. The baby coming mid-July, so... Um, if anybody else is expecting a baby in July, hey, y'all. Um, but <laughs> if you're here with me today and you want to get into um, the goddess pose, then let's do it. All right. So the goddess pose is basically um, a, some would consider that a deep squat as well but it is a squat it's a squat you're like sitting in your chair type of squat you're going we're going to be working the tops of our thighs okay um so be prepared for that um but we're also going to be embodying and embracing the strength that is feminine energy uh you know how how often do we as women face adversities any and everywhere, any in all the walks of life, and just have to still power through, but still be able to shine through that through that pain and through that um, that challenge, we'll say, uh, and still present ourselves powerfully as the women that we are. Right. So, without further ado, um, we're gonna go ahead and come to a standing position. Okay, so if you're seated like I am, you can reach your hands forward and uh, just lean all of your weight into your into the palm of your hands. Uncross your legs into that nice big wide stance. Tuck your toes underneath. <laughs> Y'all probably can't see that, but you're going to tuck your toes underneath your uh, feet and push back onto the balls of your feet. All right, and immediately go up to a, stand, a forward fold standing position, folded position. Um, <laughs> we're going to shift the hips side to side. That feels so good. Y'all don't even know. I mean, if you're doing this with me, you probably do know that that feels good. All right, we're going to soften the knees here, and we're just going to take our hands back behind us and inhale, reach all the way up. And we're going to position our body like a star, arms all the way up, reaching up, giving praise. And you can keep your the heels of your feet just wider then the hip hip width apart and then you can widen that stance heel toe heel toe anybody got um any dancing experience you know the heel toe is where it's at 
All right, so we're here. We're in a star position. We're receiving that glorious, glorious energy. This is your resting position. So when I say star, this is where I want you to be. At rest. Giving praise, receiving blessings. All right. From here, you just want to check in with where your body is. You're going to tuck the tailbone. I'll turn around so you can see. You're going to tuck the tailbone, which means you're going to engage that core. So instead of being here, you're going to go here. It doesn't look as dramatic as it does when I don't have a baby in me, but here we are. <laughs> you're going to soften those knees. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders away from the ears. You're in your star. From here, you're going to take your elbows out to the sides, drop them down like a cactus, and then you're going to sit in your seat with your uh, coccyx, your butt leading the way. You notice that if you lean forward, your knees are going to go over your toes. Take a note here to look at your toes and see if you can get your knees to uncover your, no your toes. So you want to be able to see your toes. If your knees are covering your toes, that means you're leaning too far forward. You want to pull it back, putting the weight of your body into your heels and really sitting deep in that stance. Now, if you have a chair available to you, <laughs> if you have a chair available to you, you can use your chair as a spotter, right? So we're going back to that hip width distance apart, toes angled out, heels angled in, tailbone tucked, shoulders back, rolled back and down, um, chin parallel to the earth cactus arms boom 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 shoulder blades touching as if they can like you know shoulder blades as close together as possible chest lifted exhaling sitting down like you're going to sit down in that seat keeping that core engaged you can uh, draw up your muladhara your um you could do your Kegel here and sinking down even further, keeping all of that engaged. Take a breath, feel the shake, feel the burn. Inhale, reach up back into your resting pose, which is your star. All right. The goddess pose is good for building confidence. <laughs> like, I can do it. <laughs> but it's also um, good for, like I said, the tops of the thighs, um, strengthening balance. Um, and also for those of you who are pregnant or in their last trimester, this is, this is something that's really good if you do it just cons as often as possible in repetition um, because it helps you to build stamina and for those of you who are um, who've experienced labor you know stamina an increase in stamina like just being able to have stamina to bring these babies into the world is a gift <laughs> all right so we're back at star and really it's a it's a training situation right so you want to increase your stamina here so we're gonna do um, our our uh, goddess so we're gonna go our cactus arms chest lifted chin parallel to the earth shoulder blades to touch if they can tailbone tucked core engaged drawing that uh, pelvic floor up and you're going to go ahead and do your take your seat. I need to make a wider stance. 
Like, what am I doing? <laughs> All right. You can sway into it if that serves you. And just take a breath in here. Hold. And drop your seat further down like the goddess you are. Take your arms, bring them forward. And breathe in, come back to star. And rest. Mm -mm -mm. Feels so good to be alive. Right? Let's shake our arms out. Y'all probably like, how is this a resting pose? Right. So we'll shake our arms out. Shake the legs out. Get some somatic movement. Come to a place of stillness. Exhale, inhale, back to star. And exhale, come back down into that beautiful goddess seat. All right, now that we're here, we're going to amp it up a little bit. You're going to uh, shift your weight into that right foot and lift the right heel and take a couple breaths here. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, back to star. Shake it out. Okay, come to a place of stillness, inhale, reach all the way up, and exhale into that goddess seat, okay, bringing the shoulders and elbows back, tucking the tailbone, engaging that core, bringing that pelvic floor in and up, right? Shift your weight to the left foot. Lift that left heel. Take a couple breaths here. Exhale, inhale, back to star. You should be feeling this right here. Let me know how's it going. How you feeling? The baby waking up. <laughs> I can feel her turning around, y'all. She said, hey. <sighs> shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. <sighs> Inhale to star. Back into that goddess seat. <laughs> Exhaling. Tucking the tailbone. Yada, yada, yada. And this time you're going to lift both heels, right? Lift both those heels up and hold two breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale up to star. Shake it out. Do, 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 do. Let's see what else we gonna do today. Inhale to star receive that those blessings the gift of life the breath that we all have and get back into your seat you should be comfortable here at this point <laughs> but if you're not challenge through power through and we're going to just reach up to the sky, inhaling, bringing the right arm down to the side and reaching over to the right, sinking deep in that seat. Inhale up, back to star. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Inhale and exhale back down. Sit in that seat. You got this, goddess. Remember, difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations, my friends. Bring that right arm to the right arm, left arm to the left thigh. Reach up with the right arm to the sky. 
and exhale, reaching all the way over to the left, sitting deep in that seat. Inhale up to star. And release. Ah! <laughs> now, that we've done all of that, we're going to do one more thing. And this is for the folks who want something that's a little more. Good morning. <laughs> uh, this is for the folks who want something a little more dynamic. If you want more movement in that squat or if you are somebody who goes to the gym and you're used to doing squats at the gym with like weights and stuff like that. Um, this is something I picked up in belly dancing um as a conditioning and it's uh it's got some dynamic movement so we're gonna go inhale up to star cactus arms exhale down into your goddess pose reach forward bring the arms inhale arms out to your sides exhale and pump it so you're gonna lift the hips and exhale back into that squat. Lift the hips and exhale back into that squat. And each time you get down into the squat, see if you can go deeper into it. We'll do two more. Come back up and hold. Inhaling to star and shake it out yeah so that's a quick little shindig for um <laughs> for your goddess pose a nice little circuit that you can take with you into your practice um yeah it helps with confidence like i said it opens up the pelvis you can strengthen the pelvic floor with this, these exercises. If you are pregnant and you're experiencing um, placenta previa, that's not the pose for you. But we can explore other things um, if you have a question about that. And I'll be happy to support you in your journey on, um, on your mat. <laughs> Again, my name is Ryan. And I am a yoga instructor of, since 2018, been practicing yoga since 2001, since I was an itty bitty. Um, I wasn't that itty bitty, but I was a kid. <laughs> and um, I'm happy to be here to share this little piece of my practice, teaching practice with you all. I just wanna let y'all know, June is the last month um, before the baby comes in July, I'm offering my last circuit for um, my private classes. It's three classes for $195. Usually I do $95 per individual class for a private class. This is via Zoom. So if you want to work with me and have some personalized yoga attention and we could develop your own personalized home practice, hit me up. Let me know. Drop it in the comments. But other than that, if y'all are just here to support and be friends and all that good stuff, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Much love. Also, remember, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. <laughs> Peace, y'all.